Hello everybody, welcome to a coverage, uh, Gwenpool's bauble bauble blowout coverage uh, video. We're going to look at how the quest works. Um, there will be some stuff that we'll have to clear up in some future videos. I'm a little bit late, but that's because I was um, I was in a meeting and uh, yeah, lots of stuff on. But yeah, you're probably wondering to yourself like like what is going on with this uh, this bauble bauble blowout, all the other things like that. You're probably looking to like find like details of uh, of totals. Now, what I have done is I have calculated that straight to the point. Let's let's do that. Um, so on screen right now, this is how I make out the total to be. So I make out the grand total to be three hundred and forty one thousand six hundred and forty baubles. Based on doing seven days, full seven days of uh, the baubles, so there's the total free to play volume you can get so in game. The in game mail at the moment, which you can see uh, there, uh, is uh, 65,700. And then each individual day, which I'm pretty certain I've totaled up correctly, uh, if I just get my uh, cow quack daculator um, up for this one. <laughs> these things just to double check obviously i want to be kind of like short on these things uh in any case when it comes to rewards so we have got for one of the milestones which by the way it's in 100 units each individual time for milestones is pretty impressive i need to have a look over this uh, i really do because these uh, solo events last for 22 hours a, a piece and i just got to see like well what's what's potentially an option we might do this in the, in this video there's a lot to kind of cover and i want to be concise as possible and showcase uh, everything being done 13,140 um, and also like display what you can get more as a non-spending player look if you're going to spend you're going to spend you're going to get a lot more kind of like baubles and other things as well and again just to point out on screen right now uh 39,420 times seven because the seven solo events comes to 275,940. Great thumbs up. Okay, I, I got something right with the, with the math thing. Uh, that's good. You've got to be sure about that. So this is like if you're non-spending. Okay, right. Uh, notes, okay. So look, it's a spendy, it's a spendy event in it. So if you kind of go go to your, uh, if you are spending, hey, whatever you, you're spending, um, uh, there's also these kind of like things where you get more baubles, more baubles means you get to spend on certain things. Great thumbs up. Um, so spenders um, on the double track, you would have had access to this stuff already. So yeah, uh, so the solo event runs for seven days, 28th of November. At November 28th of uh, April, wrong wrong dates there. There's no rank in the event. You might be kind of wondering as well, like, is there any ranking to it? There's not. There's no ranking to this particular event. Uh, there's two types of solo events, apparently. The Battle Scarred and the Mint Condition. So, y yes, that's fun for those that have it. Of course, you want to find out, like, how do you get some of this stuff points-wise? Like... Do, does this or is this going to feel that you're going to be able to smash out? Because look, some of the uh, the stuff, like depending on I don't know if it's rarity or progression, you're going to be looking at this and going like, oh, this is fantastic, uh, but I do need to 100% all of the um, uh, the objectives because you're like, I need all the baubles. Is it possible? And also, there's some, there's a spicy crystal, the collectible clear out crystal. That's another thing that's kind of cool because on that one. What have you got? Like six star featured hero crystal, cavalier crystals, fragments. It's kind of like a, a banquet crystal, to be brutally honest. And it's pretty spicy. I've got to be honest, well done to Kapam. But it just depends if you can get that. So you get points. The volume of points you get is 100 points. I mean, if you're non-spending like myself and many other people, 100 points to get this. There's 10. There's 10 solo objectives. So 10 times 100. That's right, your math is socially real, and that's 1,000, okay? Uh, doing these, and again, this is this is going to be a thing. You've got to do them on a daily basis. Don't miss them out, okay? we got one here. Like, I've done one, uh, no easy path, and uh, then there's going to be uh, some others. I'm going to claim that right now because I just want to see, like, that kind of, like, clicking in. Uh, these are actually a lot more easier to do than you might think, right? Um, just by doing some gen general grinding around, you can get them done. Funnily enough some of the pra some practice works. So if you go to practice, it works. We're going to showcase that in a moment. So do bear in mind, the reason you can't get the first milestone is it's for those that spent. So uh, bubble, bubble, battle bonus, get gold, etc. Um, if you're a member of the platinum track. So, you know, sp spending, you get access to it. But these other things here, Kamama giving you out 700 units for free. That's pretty impressive. 
I need that. I'm sure a lot of other people need that. 700 units for free. Well done, Caban. Six star awake, a six star signature stone. Well done. This crystal here. I'm looking forward to openings at the end of the week and having a spicy opening. Um, but yeah, like that's brilliant. So well done, Caban, for that one. Obviously, relics because they, they want to thrust relics um, uh, for you to do. Uh, but look, completing it is another story. So we're going to take one of these objectives and just see like a better way uh, or a, a very kind of like efficient way of doing it. So obviously, daily perspective. Uh, win two fights with a special two as a last hit. Win fights against a, a villain enemy. Um, we'll, what we'll do is we'll try out some... I've definitely had one of them work. I think it's the parries. Yes, the parries. So that's what we'll do. We'll finish off the parries. So for parry, we need to go to uh, defeat a hashtag mercenary champion. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and defeat a hashtag mercenary champion. I don't think we can... There's some thing is There's some that work and some that do not work. And do be very careful about this. You know, I just actually, uh, whilst I was kind of prepping something, tried to go into villain in practice mode, which is the mode that we're going to be using in order to do this. It didn't work. But I think the mechanic side of things, like parry hashtag mercenaries, for example, we'll just kind of like experiment with that. Uh, so we'll just log in, we'll just fight against a domino, for example, and we'll go to practice with Dr. Doom. And then what we'll do is we'll do the five parries. So we'll, we'll count them. I'll try and finish with an SB2 because that's another thing that you have to do. But uh, one, and two, and well, three, four. Oh no, yeah, four. Uh, and uh, five, even though it kind of failed, that's 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 fine. I do need to try and see if I can finish off with an SP2, so I'm gonna get hit a little bit just to kind of build up to that SP2 quicker. Although, I would say that I'm probably gonna over damage because of the um, uh, the incinerate, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. In any case, let's just see, can I just hit into the block and do it? Yes, that's the way to do it. That avoided an incinerate death, so. Let's just see if that, uh, first of all, does the business, which it does. There we go. Oh, I did I did one less. Well, there you go. Because it's got to be against an, uh, an, a mercenary. But that's the, it's just, just a point. It proves the point that it works. So with it, sometimes it works. With some of these, sometimes it doesn't. When using practice. some A lot of the other ones, you will have to kind of like pick and choose your fights as wisely as possible. But I would, be very, would kind of say that um, it may be best to use questing or it's using it in something like arena arena doesn't cost you any um uh any energy but then just look to like lower content where it's low energy cost you know go to um uh go to road to labyrinth i mean that's the go to one a lot of the time is a uh, road to labyrinth first quest and seeing who's on the path and then just doing it by there doing special attacks uh, look out for villains, stuff like that. But just kind of like participate, a little bit of practice and a little bit free, but also maybe look at uh, your duels because that's the other thing as well. Like you can just duel, um, find somebody uh, to fight against. In any case, let's just get to work with some of these here. Like I'm doing uh, the light attack one now. So I'm trying to like end the fight with a light attack, uh, just to kind of get that. And nearly done, nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. There we go. So hopefully as well, I've done the cosmic one as well, use a cosmic champion. So if I go back, I'm hoping two pop up at the same time. You can hopefully double dip, he says. Yep, yeah, well there's, uh, that's when using a, using a cosmic champion. So I can do that again in a minute, the same particular fight. Um, or any fight really, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and there's another one, uh, with last hit being a light attack. Brilliant, love that one. And uh, yeah, um, there's not really much more to go over with this particular event. I think it's a very kind of like standard easygoing event, especially because look, you know, you can just claim things as you go. I don't think I can claim that one though, because I don't have a part of it, because it's, it's all kind of like locked. But I can choose the gold track one, so I still get 250 um, uh, a time, and also some gold. So cheers, Kabam, thanks, thanks for that. That's that's nice. I'm not being sarcastic, like this genuinely is like a really cool free event. As, as I said as well, 700 units for free. Right, that's great. I mean, that doesn't really kind of go to the next thing. I will be doing a best buys um, orientated video. Uh, the spreadsheet, which I am referring to, which has a, a quick breakdown as well as some info. It will be expanded upon as well. I, I'm still working on it. I will put a link in the description, but it is still a work in progress. As the evening goes on, I'm going to be working on that as well. Uh, so do bear with me. 
And and yeah, like I said, easy point. There's ten objectives, ten times one hundred, which you get as part of the uh, part of the doing the uh, the battle scarred for those that are non-spending. You do indeed get yourself right to the very end. Right to the very end is a load of six star shards. I'll probably do some total kind of rewards from this one, and also a load of baubles at the same time. Which once you've collected all your baubles, maybe next week. And do bear in mind you have two weeks to spend on your baubles in the store. Go to the bauble blowout store and. Spend your heart, heart's content, but do bear in mind there's going to be lots of different scenarios as to how you spend, where you spend, what is the value of spend, because if you're getting yourself 341,000, uh, then you could pick yourself up a six-star Nexus Crystal and a six-star Awakening Gem for free. And that ain't too bad. Well done, Kabam, on doing this particular event. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, especially depending on your progression level and stuff like that. And of course, if you spend money in the game, you're going to get access to some super spicy stuff like tier 6 class catalyst selector. So yeah, if you spend money, you're going to get that. But uh, yeah, the most a non-spending player can reach will be getting at 270k. So you could get some nice stuff, plus a little bit extra from some other lower things as well but uh yeah we're gonna have a look at best buys in another video that's been it thanks very much for watching check out some other content located on screen and i'll see you all soon much love and goodbye